bargain finds on my mind. Whoa, bargain finds on my mind. What did I find today? Shopping all day. What did I find today? Shopping all day. What did I find, y'all? What did I find? Hey guys, welcome back to Janine's Life. I'm Janine. Thanks for coming. Today I have such a good flea market haul. Y'all will not believe the stuff that I found. I'm so excited. You should have seen me and my husband at the flea market. We were just finding stuff left and right, buying things up. People were looking at us like we were crazy, but we were getting some good deals. So I can't wait to get into it. So I'm just going to get into it. Oh, I am way too close, y'all. Washed out. It's overcast. Let's get started. Let's get into it, y'all. I'm tired of talking. First things first, I am going to talk a little bit more. Like, if you guys have watched my last flea market haul, then you would know that a lot of the stuff that I find when it comes down to the cosmetics and beauty supplies um, are actually products that are usually discontinued that these vendors buy from like CVS, Walgreens. They buy wholesale, like on a pallet, they get it for a really, really low discounted price because these products are no longer being um, manufactured and they are trying to get rid of them so that they can bring in all of the new products um, into the store. So with that being said, when I tried to locate some of the prices online, I wasn't getting an exact like in the store price except for one product that I have. So the prices that I'm finding are on eBay. So that's subjective and that really goes with the person that's selling it. I mean, eBay is people like you and I that are selling things online and we can sell it for whatever we want. Is it going to sell for that much? Maybe not. I can't really go by that, but I will give you a figure of how much I saw the actual product selling for online just so you can get an idea. So the first thing that I'm going to show you were these two Selma Hayek um, lipsticks. They are Selma Hayek Nuance lipsticks. Um, these are actually closed out. These are not no longer in stores. Yes, yeah, Selma Hayek Color Vibrant Lipsticks. The ones that are in stores now are True Color Lip Moisture, and those are selling for um, $9.99 in CVS. Guys, I purchased these at the flea market for a dollar each. And online, I try to find these same colors um, to try to find prices. Like if you want to find these exact colors, um, you could go online and find them, but they're gonna cost you more than a dollar. I found them for $3.99 plus $2.49 with shipping. Oh, and up. I'm gonna swatch them for you on my hand just so you can see. The first color that I have here is Color Vibrance Lipstick Plum Mauve is the color, 150. I'm gonna swatch it for you. So you can see that it's a really pretty color, really um, nice. These were all brand new. I do want to mention that they all had the sticky, you know, packaging tape, whatnot. And these were out in the sun, so I should have waited till I got home and let them like kind of firm up and cool down. Because when I took this one out of the package, I accidentally like hit the top of it with the, don't you hate that? I hit the top of it with the actual lipstick, um, the top of the lipstick. So yeah, Janine, good job. The other color that I found was the Selma Hayek, my favorite. So this must have been like her favorite color. Um, and I'll swatch that for you. So this was the other one. I'll swatch this one for you here. So that is Selma Hayek's favorite color, y'all. And I'm liking it too. Pretty, pretty. And I actually tried these on my lips and they go on super smooth. And I really like the colors, so thank you, Salma. I also found two more lipsticks that were made by CoverGirl. These were also a dollar each. Um, same story, I looked them up online. These are closed out items. You can find them online, but they're not being sold in stores. So if you like these particular colors, you'd have to find them online. I've found these online for $4 and change and up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch these for you. These are CoverGirl Lip Perfection, by the way. This one is in Darling Cherie 395. 
And these were also brand new. They were all in packaging. Pretty color. I really like how creamy and velvety this one is. It's got a slight shimmer to it, but it's in that nude tone and mama like. Yes, you do. Okay, the next color that I found, which is in the same CoverGirl lip protection, was 370 Verve, V-E-R-V-E. -E. I'll swatch that for you as well. These are kind of similar, if you can see, but this one has a shimmer in it. And I'm all about the shimmer, boo. I'm all about that shimmer, especially in the sunny state of Florida, which today it's not sunny at all. It is <laughs> cloudy and rainy. So if I look washed out, boo, blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the rain, boo. It ain't me. I've been out in the sun all weekend at the theme park, the water park with my family, and we had a good old time. Okay, quality time, you guys. Y'all should try it. If you haven't tried it, try it out. It's awesome. Okay, the next um, products that I found, which I was like, duh, yes, I'm buying this. My husband was like, come on, baby, at this point. We pretty much had all these bags, and we were at the end of our shopping day, shopping spree at the flea market. And yet again, I found these lipsticks, and I found these nail polishes, okay? First one that I'm going to show you is Nicole by OPI. And this is the Gumdrop Collection. It only requires you to put a base coat, two coats of this, it dries matte and the sparkles shine through. And this color is in Cinnamon of My Dreams. And these uh, OPI, Nicole OPI sell in Ulta, not these particular colors, like I said, these are no longer being sold in the store, but you can find them online. Um, in the store, they're being sold for $9.99 at Ulta. But you can find these particular colors for $5.99 and up online. So if you like this particular color, I'm going to swatch it on a piece of paper for you just so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, I saw these colors and I thought they were just so beautiful and I felt like, you know. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, these, these nail polishes were 50 cents each, okay? 50 cents, guys. Come on. Cheaper than the dollar store. And you ain't going to get Nicole by OPI at the dollar store, okay? Just so y'all can see. Look how pretty, y'all. That's going to look cute on Janene. Like I told y'all before, if you watch any of my other videos, I don't really do paint my fingernails. I do go crazy on my toes, though. Um, because of my job, I don't really... Um, Paint my fingernails. If I do, um, it's something that's just going to go on for like a few days and then come right off. Moving on, I got four nail polishes. They were all 50 cents each. All Nicole OPI. The next one is this color right here. And it's called It's Possible. And this looks silver for some reason, but y'all, it's not. It is like this tannish, goldish, bronzy. I don't know, but it is beautiful, y'all. Beautiful. Let me swatch that too for you. Look how pretty that is. Y'all, that's gonna look cute on Janene. Yes. Okay, the next color that I found was also Nicole by OPI. And this color is called Berry Sweet. I'm very sweet, y'all. Yeah, that ain't you. But guess what? I don't care. I'm going to swatch this one for y'all, too. It was so pretty. It's like it, the outside of an apple with some shimmer in it, girl. Ooh, Jesus. Look at that, y'all. Yes. Look at all these pretty shades I got for 50 cents at the flea market. You guys, I'm telling you, you got to go out there and search and find. I'm telling you, those bargains are out there, you guys. Don't be so scared. 
of the flea market and of yard sales. I mean, I'm telling you, I find so many bargains everywhere all the time. I always have my eye. My radar is like this. I'm always looking, I'm always seeking, and I'm always finding. Here's the next color, you guys. This one is called Coco A Go Go. Yes, baby. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Oh my goodness. And this has a shimmer in it too. I'm gonna swatch it for you. It's just nice, like, I don't know, like rusty orange, brownish, burgundy that they mix together with some kind of shimmer. Uh, so pretty. Let's you guys see this one. It kind of reminds me of the first color that I swatched and I'll show you why and I feel like it could be an accent. There it is right there, y'all. I feel like I could do all my nails with this color right here and then do my accent like fingernail with the glittery first one that I showed y'all, Cinnamon of My Dreams, with Cocoa Go Go. Yes, boo, yes. Can y'all see that? That was $2 worth of OPI by Nicole nail polish, yes. I wanted to let y'all know that Nicole by OPI is a really good nail polish. It is long wearing, fast drying, DBT free, Tuline free, formaldehyde free. If you guys care about all of these things, like you know, healthy nail care. This is a really good, you know, nail polish. I don't usually investigate and look into this kind of stuff, but when I started looking up prices, I actually saw all the information in the description about the nail polish, Nicole by OPI. And I was like, oh wow, that's really good. Good for us, it's good for the environment. Also the glass is recyclable, so if you're one of those recyclable people like me that recycle, you gonna like it. So thank you, Nicole by OPI. I got your nail polish for 50 cents at the flea market. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next item. Y'all don't know this, but um, we had moved about three years ago and I literally like, when we moved, I purged. And when I tell you I purged, I got rid of all of my makeup, all of my stuff. Like we literally left with bags packed in our car and moved and started all over, okay? That's a whole nother, Janini episode, y'all, Janine's life. And I will get into that in the future. I purged everything, so I'm starting from scratch. I'm buying all new products, all new nail polish, all new makeup, everything from scratch. So now that I've been building up my collection, I have so much stuff and nowhere to put it. So I've been looking for like um, makeup organizers or like drawers or something that I could put my makeup in. And while I was at the flea market, I found this. This is Seville two pack drawer organizer. It's a bamboo drawer organizer. It's a two pack and this can go in a drawer. I'm thinking about even putting it up on my counter in the bathroom. I have a pretty long counter in there. I was thinking of putting that in there, but eventually I'm going to get a desk to go back here, probably a white um, desk or some type of like vanity back there, I'm not sure yet. Um, just to go with the um, little, you see the little hat there, the little side tables I have, I have two of them. So I just wanted to kind of keep in with that theme of the white and get that and hopefully find one that has drawers so that I can put these in there and um, organize my makeup. I'm currently in the market. I'm looking for a drawer or a vanity, but I don't wanna spend $199 or $250. So I've been looking um, pretty frequently online. I've been looking on OfferUp and on Craigslist. I find a lot of really good deals. A lot of the furniture that I furnish this house with has been off of those types of sites. So I would also just put a disclaimer out there. If you're gonna be doing Craigslist or offer up, just be careful because there are crazy people out there. Never go alone. Always, always, always try to have somebody with you. If you're a woman, I'm not saying you can't go by yourself, but if you have a boyfriend or a husband, have them come along with you and never go, try not to go to a person's house. I'm not gonna say never. Some people are moving in you have to go to their house or just having a moving sale. But I would say if you can, try to meet somewhere in a public place just to be safe, okay guys? Just be safe, please be safe. So um, I got this and this is brand new, um, still in packaging for $15. And online, I only have been seeing like just one actual 
drawer organizer not to. I only, I've seen two of them and actually someone just posted one on eBay for $19.99 with free shipping, but it was used. So these are brand new. I'll show you, still in the packaging. So this is one of them and the other one is underneath. And the one that is underneath is right here and it's different so if you see this one here it's all like uniform squares and it comes with looks like a liner inside i haven't gotten into it like i said um and the other one i believe is like this i think that they're interchangeable but i'm gonna find out about that but i'm pretty sure that they are just because the one that i just took out oh if you can see they are interchangeable i can see right here that these little indentations here you can create what you want and make them into the shapes that you want, into the lengths that you want, which is good because you know what? All makeup comes in all different sizes, honey. So I need to be able to organize and if I can move those things around, that'd be better for me. Um, so like I said, $15, brand new, which I was gonna try to go get the person to go down to 10, but I was like, I think $15 is good. I will maintain that price there. But as I said, when I looked online, I saw one, that was you selling for 1990, $19.95 on eBay. But when I look online, I see just one of those organizers, not two, because I got a two pack. I've seen just the one organizer starting at like $14.95 online at Walmart and Wayfair. So if you're interested in those, those are some of the sites or places that you can get it from. However, dot comma, I don't buy new, and if I do, I get it at a discount. Moving along, the next thing that I found, which I was so excited because, like I said, we just moved, so we're in the process of, you know, decorating, putting pictures up, that kind of stuff. We have some artwork, and we have some things that we brought from our old place that we haven't put up yet. We're still being lazy, I guess. Um, eventually, we will start putting those things up and seeing if they flow with the, the house that we have now. Um, and then I will go out and find some more things. But my daughter did tell me that she wanted to do her room, Paris theme. She's like the type of girl that wants to travel when she gets old enough to. So I found these canvases there. And I'll show you the first one. And these were used, but here's the first one. It's a pretty good size. Um, there is still, this is like a portrait of Italy and I think it's just really cute. It goes with her travel-like theme. These sell in Ross, I don't know if you guys can see, for $12.99, okay? I got this one and I got this one, which I really loved and she loves Paris and Paris themed everything, so I found this one. Okay, they're both the same size. And I just thought they were so cute. And this was also $12.99, okay? They were a little dirty, I ain't gonna lie. When we got them home, we had to wipe them down with baby wipes. If y'all don't know, I'm gonna let you in on a little hack. Baby wipes are the bomb.com. They get stains off like nobody's business, okay? If you get a stain on your shirt, in the car, on the rug, you need to get something out quick. Baby wipes, hello, they gonna save your life. Um, I got both of these pictures for five dollars okay two dollars and fifty cents each the guy was like i'm selling them both for five i was like five dollars each or five dollars for the set he was like five dollars for the set i was like sold i'm buying it thank you sir so like i said we were just buying stuff left and right we were on a shopping spree um i have one last item that I'm gonna show you I, it's actually I got to go downstairs and outside so I'm gonna take the camera with me um, I was super super excited so you guys watch this okay okay guys so I am outside now sorry for the noise the air conditioner machine oh it just turned off thank you okay here's a little view of the my backyardy area okay all right so let me show you what I found here so excited this is like my this is like my favorite 
thing that I found, okay? We've been looking for a new barbecue grill and we didn't want to spend two, three, four hundred dollars on a grill. Like I said, you know, your girl is frugal. I don't play that, okay? I found this grill right here that I'm about to show you for $50, okay? $50 may seem like a lot to some of you, but for us, $50 was a lot cheaper than two, three, four hundred dollars for a gas portable grill. So here we go. Okay guys, so right here I have a stock portable gas grill with wheels. Um, like I said, I got it for 50 bucks. Online I found it at Home Depot for $159 and that does not include the tax, okay? Um, this grill I love because it is portable. You see the wheels? It also collapses and it has a lock. So you can lock the grill right here when you, when you break it down if you want to take it out camping or to the park or, I mean, I just have it back here, but we love to go to the beach and we love to go to the park and we love to do barbecues. Um, it has an integrated temperature gauge, so you always know what the temperature is going on inside. It's got a quick and easy, um, like, um, ignition right here. You, um, I think you turn it on right here to the flame and then you hit this and it automatically turns on for you. If I'm not, if I'm incorrect, y'all correct me, but, um, from what my husband said, he was like, babe, you're gonna be able to turn this thing on like nobody's business because the last grill that we had was really hard for me to turn on. So we've already used this like five times. So I'm telling you, when I got it, it was like barely used. Like if you could see it, like the shine on it, like it was barely used. So what you guys are about to see is the effects of what we've done to it since we've gotten it. So yes, here's the inside of the grill, which is pretty big, I mean, this, this is actually a cast iron skillet here, so if you guys are into that kind of stuff, um, smells like steak, y'all. That's what we had the other day cooking in here. What I also like about it is that you can use a big propane tank. What we're using for it right now are those little mini ones, which we don't have connected. My husband took it off. Yep, that's it, y'all. That's, that's what I got. Okay, guys, also I forgot to mention that awesome grill that you just saw downstairs has interchangeable inserts that can go inside. So it has a pizza stone, which I'm getting because we love to make homemade pizza. Um, and it's supposed to like cook your pizza like the perfect pizza. That's what it says online. We gonna find out. Um, it's got a vegetable tray. It has like a kebab and roaster. It has a cast iron kettle. Like, I don't know how many inserts there are that go in there, but there's a ton of them and you can buy them online. They don't come with the grill, so we're gonna look into that, but we're definitely gonna get the pizza stone, the vegetable tray. They even have like a wok, they have a smoke infuser, like they have so many different inserts for that particular grill. So I feel like we got all this stuff at such a low price. Overall, we spent $86, and if you just heard me tell you all of the prices of each item that I found online and what the difference is, we got such a bargain. We made out. I mean, we did really good, so I just want to reinforce again, you know, guys, don't be afraid of the flea market, of yard sales. Like, you're going to find so many things that you would never believe that you could find so cheap, so... Just keep a lookout, guys. That's all I have for today, but you know I'll be back with some more fun, so keep an eye out for that. And keep an eye out for a collaboration that I have coming up soon with my churn from Kids Being Random. That's going to be a funny one, so keep a lookout for that. Also, if you haven't seen my last Yard So Haul, go ahead and check that out, guys. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that button down below. Comment, like, and tell me what you want to see next, guys. Bye, y'all. Have a great day. See you.